It's done. It's done. There's a few inches of water in the car. We're talking about replacing a three hundred thousand dollar car. All right, we're just moving three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Bye bye Lambo. All right, guys, this is an unfortunate wrap reveal because our whole house flooded. But there's the Tesla. You can see matches the Lambo. We're gonna see if the Lambo still works because it was underwater, but we didn't start it. It wasn't completely submerged, so there might be a chance that it still works. So we're gonna find out right now. Yo, shout out. PGC wraps, they're the best. They literally saved my cars. Hopefully, hopefully it still works. It'll work. Let's see. This is the worst thing that could happen, huh? Here it is. If you wanna make money and learn how I'm able to buy all these cars, click the link in the top of my bio, join my Discord. I'm gonna be giving away prize picks, all my picks, all my plays, They're winning picks. You guys are gonna make money. If you wanna make money, click the link in the top of my description. Join the Discord. You guys aren't gonna regret it. Maybe you can have a McLaren, a Lambo, and a Tesla. Lift this. Fuck up. It's water? It's done. It's total. It's total, bro. No. Really? It's fucked, dude. How to move the seat. There's water even on the seat. Oh my gosh. I want to cry right now. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Bro. This is the worst possible thing that could have fucking happened. I don't know what the fuck to do now. Oh, that's so fucking bad. Oh. I'm gonna fucking cry right now. What do we do? Yo, this is the worst possible thing that could ever fucking happen. My Lambo's totaled, right? It's gone. Yeah. It's gone? Yeah. Underneath it's all the electric stuff, the bodies, cables, everything, you know? Dude, that's so bad. I literally just got it wrapped like less than a week ago too. And I paid $2,000 to get it towed. And it's f***. Bro, I had this for not even fucking two weeks, bro. Fuck this shit. I'm pissed. I'm just so fucking sad right now, bro. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm gonna call my dad. Dad. My car is fucking total. What do you mean? There's water all inside of it. No, I we never looked inside of it, but it's fucking, there's water in it. The seat, everything. Everything is soaked. Dad, I'm gonna fucking cry right now. I can't get another one like this. Like, that's so fucked. We don't have to wait and see. Dad, you can't repair this shit. Dad, it's pretty fucking bad to me. The whole thing here is so. You cannot dry all this thing and it's gonna get mold with the time, you know? First thing tomorrow in the morning, you have to call the insurance. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna call the guy right now. Yeah, or even right now. Dad, I'm so fucking pissed off. Well, you gotta hang in there, you know? It's total garbage. It's fucking to I'd rather be fucking told than deal with a flooded car. Like, All right, I'm gonna call the guy right now. I'm so pissed. I'm gonna call the insurance guy. Yo, I just got to the car and it, it's flooded. Like, there's water all up in it. Okay. I think it's just fucked. It's better for you to get it looked at before you just start making that. How, how do I get it looked at? Oh, well, I'm sure there's a mobile mechanic or something like that for something for a vehicle like that. Will insurance like help me with that? Well, no, that's just like in the nest of it. You want them to just take a look at it. Bro, I'm so upset right now. What do I do? After that, like, say they say it's total, like, will, will I be able to get a new one? We would have to go over your policy and try and see what we could do from there. Because you gotta remember, it's not even 30 days in. Yeah, but that's what the insurance is for. Like, bro, I'm not, like, I can't just, I can't just lose two hundred like, $350,000. Yeah, you're not gonna lose that, but what I'm saying, it's gonna be a hell for you to try and find more insurance elsewhere. <sighs> I'm not saying that you're losing $250,000. 350, like, I paid 335, will I be able to get a check for that exact amount? I don't cut the checks. But like, what, what normally happens in a case like this? Like, what, like, it's just not my fault. I know that, man. I haven't had a scenario like this. Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> Cut you this check. I can't make the judgment saying that they're gonna cut you a check. For but this like, don't they have to like cut a check? That's why I pay for the insurance. Like, yeah, you'll just explain everything that happened, bro. They're not literally nothing you could do, bro. Like, I need to just know that I didn't lose three hundred fifty thousand dollars in the car. Bro, I just don't want to fucking have to pay a ton of money and get a new one. Like, it's just so unfair. Like, I didn't fucking. Don't get crappy coverage. You had a mill of mill, so they're gonna find a way to help you. Considering you have been insured at least for 30 days. Either way, I paid like six months up front and all that. Like, I feel like, like no matter what, they should, they should be able to help you out, bro. That's what I'm saying. If this is the case, they're going to help you out. I'm just saying, hell in high water. 
it's going to be a pain for you to find other tricks. You know, even though it's not your fault, I get it. Trust me, we run into this stuff all the time. This isn't a small, you know, like a fender bender, if that makes sense. We're talking about replacing a $300,000 car. I just want to go to fucking sleep at night and I didn't just lose $350,000. I can't just lose a, a ton of money. That's why I pay for the insurance. Yeah, you're not going to lose that much money. I'm sure if this was the case, you're going to get your money back. What do you mean if this was the case? Like it is totaled. Pretty sure it's cold. All right, well, I guess I'll just figure it out tomorrow. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, there is really nothing we can do tonight. Okay. It really isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you got to an, an accident, you know, head-on collision, and you had to follow a report insurance and all that good stuff. Like, this is something like, you didn't even start the engine, thankfully enough. Yeah. That is your biggest part of success about this vehicle right now. All right, thank you so much. You have no mercy. All right, bye. Bro, I can't believe this is fucking real life right now. This is so fucking done. Hello? Hey. Hey, today there was like a huge flood. My whole house flooded and I got the Lamborghini towed out, but it was just too late and the whole interior is like flooded. Ugh. Like salvageable? I don't fucking know. I'm just so pissed off right now. Like how flooded is flooded? There's a few inches of water in the car. Did the water go through the exhaust and stuff? Did the car start? I haven't tried to start it. Um, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I literally just got this car and like I'm so hyped to have it and then this shit happens and I'm like <laughs> The worst yeah, thing that could happen I'll schedule a tow. I'll schedule a flat bed first thing in the morning. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it I'm just, Sorry. This is just the worst thing that could ever happen to me. I was just so excited to have this car and for this to happen It's just like terrible. Like I said, you didn't start it so everything could, it could end up okay. I'll talk to you Alright, bye. Bro, I can't believe this is f***ing happening, bro. Not gonna get any more bitches. All right, guys, so my Lambo is fucked. But on the bright side, I got a new Tesla, but no, I'm so upset. I got a newly wrapped Tesla. I got this color to match the Lambo, and I don't have a fucking Lambo anymore. I'm just so sad. Right, guys, so we're about to go to the car wrap shop where I found out my Lamborghini was flooded. Our neighbor's helping Michelle start her mom's car because it was here when the flood happened and it's soaking wet inside. It's just not turning on, so yeah. Jumper cables. I don't think so. Maybe Matt, do you have jumper cables in your car? Oh yeah, Matt's brother's about to be here and he definitely has jumper cables. Yeah guys, we're about to go drop off the keys to the Lambo. Honestly, I hope that's the solo, like low key. <laughs> Everything's fucked up, man. Everything's fucked up. Why is everything up. falling apart? Fuck everything. We have to find a new place to fucking live. Like, so much bad stuff. Like, it's crazy because I remember when the flooding in like Fort Myers happened. I was like, damn, that would suck. Hey, we fucking are dealing with that shit right now. All right, there's a car parked in the middle of the road. Like, who's I dealing with that? All right, guys, so I got the Lambo keys. Tow truck's right over there. We're ready to get the Lambo. This fucking sucks, man. A lot is happening. No, 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 no. All right, you don't have to do that. It's going to be up to the insurance company, really. You know, I don't, I don't make much decisions. Basically, what will happen now is we'll get it to the dealership. The insurance company will come out, look at it, and then we'll take the whole interior out of the car and we'll make a determination on it. How long does that normally take? I don't have this happened before? I had a guy last year that had an event in Miami that it happened to. He was parked underneath his office building and something like that. How long did it take for him? Yeah, like to know. It's like it's like a month, like a couple weeks, or like. Like I said, your insurance company might be with everything that's going on. You know, you just don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to give you an answer and it'd be wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things like where any sort of time frame will work. Here. I can't even give you a time frame. I don't know. Yeah. It's going to debate. It's all going to depend on how your insurance company comes out, how quick they come out. They make an assessment. They're going to dictate to us what they want us to do. Obviously, we're gonna remove the whole inside of the car because you gotta find out what's damaged in there. Right now, you're, you have a good sign. The power's still on in the car. Everything still works as far as I can see. The windows are still going up and down. The cluster's coming on. That's all good signs. But there was a lot of water in this car. So wet in there. Hey, man. How am I doing? I'm doing better than ever. It just sucks because it just got wrapped, too. I couldn't figure out how to put it in neutral, but I did. Uh, hey, hire me, Lamborghini. Give me a free Lambo. Let's go. Oh, shit. Yo, they're pushing it. No. My Lambo. <laughs> so sad. Look at this. Never thought it would turn out like this, bro. Very unfortunate. 
just sucks because if I have to get a new one, obviously, which I probably will, I'm not going to be able to find one like this. Like, this is like one of one. Like, the, the original color on the car is like one of one. I already looked. There's no other Lambos with like orange interior like that. Like, that shit just goes crazy. I love the steering wheel. Like, I'm not going to be able to find anything like it. It sucks, but fuck. I can't believe this is happening right now, for real. This is crazy. Bruh, I just want to know if it's like total or not, and if it is, I just want another Lambo right now. Like, I don't want to wait. Like, I just got it. Like, I just want to, I never even got, to, I didn't even put 200 miles on the car. Crazy. Manhandling the steering wheel. <laughs> Bye bye Lambo. I hope I'll see you again soon. Actually, nah, I want a new one, bruh. It's, it's fucked. I don't know what to do.